Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. If this is your first time visiting the channel, welcome. I'm Justin with Excelsmith. If you've been here before, welcome back. In a previous video, we showed how to randomly place values into groups. That solution was built for versions of Excel prior to 365 and Excel 2021. The equation took a lot of pieces to make work. There's a link to that video in the description if you're using a version of Excel prior to 365 or 2021. Thanks to some new functions in Excel 365 and 2021, we can now accomplish the same thing with a much shorter equation. Hooray for updates. Let's get started. Column A contains our list of participants. Our goal is to randomly assign these participants into one of three groups listed in column F. The first thing we need to do is to assign a random number to each of the participants. For a more in-depth look at how this formula works, click the YouTube card in the top right corner or the link in the description below. In cell B2, we'll start by entering an equal sign, the function name sort by, and an open parentheses. The first parameter of sort by is the array we want sorted. For this equation, we want an array of numbers from one through the number of items in the participant list, which is nine. To create this array, we'll use the sequence function. For the first parameter, we'll enter the number nine. That's actually the only parameter we need for this equation, so we can enter a closing parentheses and a comma to move to the second parameter of the sort by function. The second parameter of sort by is an array that's used to sort the array in the first parameter. To randomize the sorting of the array in the first parameter, we'll use the rand array function. Like the sequence function, the rand array function needs to know how many random numbers to generate. We need a random number for each participant, so we'll again enter the number nine. We only need the first parameter of rand array for this equation to work. Enter a closing parentheses to complete the rand array function and another closing parentheses to finish the sort by function. Let's go ahead and press enter to see what we have. Awesome, we've quickly assigned a unique random number to each of the participants. Now all we need to do is turn these numbers into groups. To begin, we'll set the number of participants needed in each group in cell D2. Since we have nine participants and there are three groups, we want three groups of three. Next, we need to divide each of the values in column B by the value we entered in cell D2. There's one more step needed to get our numeric grouping, but before we review that, let's press enter to see what we have so far. Dividing each of the numbers one through nine by three has given us three numbers between zero and one, three numbers greater than one and less than or equal to two, and three numbers between two and three. What we want is three participants with the number one, three with the number two, and three with the number three. We can accomplish this by using the round up function. Select cell B2 and then place your cursor immediately after the equal sign. Enter the function name round up and an open parentheses. We'll set the first parameter of round up to the equation we built previously. Place your cursor at the end of the equation and enter a comma to move to the second parameter of round up. Enter the number zero to have round up return integers. Type a closing parentheses and press enter. We have now assigned each participant into one of three groups. Neat, huh? If you're getting value from this video, that's awesome. Let us know by pressing those like and subscribe buttons. It helps out the channel and is always appreciated. We now need to convert the numbers in column B into the corresponding group in column F. This is easy enough with the index function. Select cell B2 and then place your cursor immediately after the equal sign. Type the function name index and then an open parentheses. The first parameter of the index function will be our list of groups in column F. After selecting the range F2 through F4, type a comma to go to the second parameter. This parameter tells index which row to return from the range provided in the first parameter. This is the equation we built previously. All we need to do is enter a closing parentheses at the end of our equation and press enter. Like magic, our group IDs have been converted to their corresponding group names. Our equation works great with the data set in column A. What happens if we add a few more names? Our new participants are left out of a group since we hard-coded the nine in the sequence and rand array functions. To ensure the new folks are added to a group, we could change the nine to a 12. A better way would be to make the equation dynamic so that it works no matter how many participants there are. First, replace the nine in the sequence function with a count A function. We're using count A instead of count because count only counts numbers. Count A counts all values. Enter column A as the parameter. After selecting column A, type a closing parentheses to complete the count A function. At this point, we have one small problem. The header value in cell A1 will be counted in the count A function. We only want to count the participants. To take care of this, simply subtract one from our count A function. Next, we need to make the same update to the rand array function. Copy everything we just entered and paste it over the nine in the rand array function. 
All finished. Go ahead and press enter to see the updated equation in action. That's strange. We get three reference errors. Let's evaluate the second parameter of the index function to see what's going on. The easiest way to do this is to first select cell B2. Next, click anywhere inside the index function and then select row num from the function tooltip. This selects the entire second parameter. With this selected, let's evaluate it by pressing F9 on a PC or function in F9 on a Mac. There's the problem. Our array counts a random assortment of the numbers one through four, but we only have three groups. Prior to adding the new names, we had nine participants. We wanted to split them across three groups, which means we would have three groups of three. We now have 12 participants to split across the same three groups. Press escape to get back to the equation. Then update the value in cell D2 from three to four. That's better. We now have 12 participants spread across three groups. Like we did with the equation in column B, we can update the groups of value to be dynamic so that it's always set to the correct value. To do this, first select cell D2 and press delete. Don't worry participants, we'll assign you to a group shortly. We need an equation that divides the number of participants by the number of groups. Like with the sequence and rand array functions, we'll be using the count A function. Type an equal sign, the function name count A, and an open parentheses. Like before, select column A as the parameter. Enter a closing parentheses and again subtract one to remove the header value. We need to wrap this whole thing inside parentheses. This completes the numerator. For the denominator, we'll build something similar but using our group values instead of the participant values. After entering a slash to go to the denominator, type count A and an open parentheses. Select our groups column, which is column F, and then close the parentheses. Subtract one to remove the header value. Like the numerator, we need to wrap the denominator inside parentheses. Press enter and we get the exact same value as before. That's it, but that wasn't very exciting. Let's see why we built this equation. Suppose we add a fourth group, which means we now want four groups of three. Let's insert group D in cell F5. Our groups of value in cell D2 correctly updates to show the number three, but we now have a problem with our groups value in column B. Let's select cell B2 to see what's going on. There's the culprit. The first parameter of our index equation only selects the first three groups. This is an easy fix. We just need to drag down the range in column F to cover all four groups. That should do it. Let's press enter to make sure everything's working as expected. Perfect, we now have our 12 participants evenly and randomly assigned into one of four groups. There's just one more piece we need to solve. Every time we update our spreadsheet, the equation recalculates. To solve for this and ensure your participants stay put in the group to which they were assigned, we first need to select the list of groups in the range B2 through B13. With the range selected, copy the values, select the dropdown next to paste in the ribbon, and then select paste values. Press escape to stop the animated selection box. Since we've replaced the equation with its output, we're now free to make any updates to our worksheet without having to worry about the group assignments updating. The last update we made to our equation before copying and pasting values was to expand the range in the first parameter of the index function. If you want something more flexible than dragging down the range selection, check out this video to see how to build a dynamic array to automatically update the range for you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.